Hi, this is Jeanette Freeman again, part four. We're going to talk about shims and why we don't approve of shims. Shims are probably the worst thing you could do for your horse. Uh, and you always fill in the area that is smaller and it's already atrophied and you are striving to build muscle so that they can equal out. But if you shim them and put something in there such as rubber, air, bladders, whatever you put in, it still causes the muscles to atrophy even more and the horses will weaken and they start weakening in the back end first uh, because you're shutting down everything that will handle the work they need to do. We have had many horses that have got sway backs that are considered genetic sore back, uh, sway back. And they just put on the saddle right pad. Uh, if they're really, really swayed, like we had one that was like a foot deep sway, uh, and they just used a regular saddle right pad and a double weave Navajo on the underneath and just rode, even though they fell down in the hole. And as they started going, they realized over the next 30 to 60 days, that they were raising up higher and higher because he was actually allowed to use the major muscles and build that area in. We've had other people that have their horses in a stall that has slats that are straight and they start out with their bodies being sway backed but as the time goes they look out and see they are even with the slats. So the horse will build muscle, but he won't build muscle if he's got, he won't build anything. He will atrophy more and more and get weaker and weaker if he has shims in there. So we just say, use the saddle right pad and this horse, pay attention, very close attention because the horse will build muscle and he will no longer be swayed. I think that's it. <laughs>